Hey guys, welcome to the Cyber Initiation. Today we are going to design our contact us page, and this is going to be the last video of this entire series. And now we are about to finish. So let me tell you one of the most important thing. If you really want to download this entire website, what do you need to do? You just need to go into the description box where I am going to put the link, and you can easily go there and uh, download it from my website. I'm also going to put all of these things into the GitHub. So if you have any design suggestions or anything like that, you can give me a pull request. And uh, if I will find all of those, you know, any of the any of the designs attractive, then definitely I'll be going to merge it. So yeah, that's what exactly I want to share. So let me copy all of these code and uh, I copied uh, you know entire entire banner from the index.html as well as i also copied this particular thing where we are having this uh, contact us page let me show you so this is the contact us page we uh, and i copied uh, entire map section as well as this contact us form section but uh, what i need to do i need to copy the banner section not the home page so let me remove all of these things so let me remove this code and modify it according to our need select it and paste it right here so now we have this form along with the map and this is the banner of our website let me change the title of this website contact us after that let me copy it cut it and uh, paste it after this form okay so our map is under the form now we need to figure out uh, that how we can you know have control over this thing over this form because uh, the only thing that i'm going to target is our form the only changes that i want to change is form and uh, one more thing that i want to tell you that uh, you know i copied all of this code because i i don't want to you know write all of uh, all of this code from scratch because it will be very hectic for us and if you watched my video my previous video you can easily understand that how we actually design this entire form and i'm going to you know i'm going to come up with a hindi version of this entire thing so you can easily uh, watch all of those things as well so i also have a hindi you know hindi channel for the development so basically now i'm looking for the code of this contact us form so this is the entire code and uh, what changes i have done in here basically i added some classes inside our column and the main class inside our contact us section so let's say contact us page and what what we need to do we need to copy the code so this is the code that i already i already added dash form let me copy it and paste it by using multi cursor pointer and uh, we are going to cover uh, from the next video like from the next series i am going to start all of these things by using sas sas will help us uh, you know to modify our things in a very different way where you don't need to write bunch of code like we are having you know very like thousands of lines of code in this website so i don't uh, want that sas will going to reduce all of those things so now we have uh, our background changed and uh, i can also go and uh, to make some other changes so let me add this margin from the bottom and from the top let's say 150 pixel for this as well yeah that's it and uh, we can also target the icon of this page so this is the icon 
no this is not the icon this is the icon so instead of 40 pixel i'm going to add around 60 pixel looking good yeah let me go and target this input so i don't want any kind of background in it i don't want any kind of border background or anything like that i'm going to modify it and make it little bit modern not just like as our, our our home page okay so the first thing that i want to add is i don't want any border like none so border must be none and after that uh, i just uh, I just want to remove the background of this entire thing. So background color must be transparent. After that, I want to add a bord uh, border from the bottom. So border from the bottom around one pixel solid. one pixel solid and let's say triple C you can also use triple F if you want remove this border and now we are having this entire thing you can also go and uh, add some border radius but I don't uh, why this but these borders are still coming so let me check it okay so we instead of border we added bottom so we need to uh, change it board from bottom to border okay so now you can see everything is removed and uh, this is looking beautiful so let's say border radius i don't want any border and uh, i want a little bit border radius from the bottom so now we are having it in this way what else we can do uh, we can say let's say if someone will visit on it uh, what will going to happen basically i can easily change the color of the background but i'm going to target the board okay so let's say if you are visiting on on the input if you are trying to type on the input then it will going to change the color of this border bottom drag it right here and change the color of it and uh, i can also add some transition effect so it will load very smoothly 0 0.5 second 0 0.5 second and it is still not showing let me see what happened let me go inside our code and see so here is the dot we need to remove it so now everything is working yeah i always see that my information always come whenever i will whenever i will try to type anything like and these information that are here are not mine these are from like my friend came over here and he filled this form and i don't know like i need to remove all of these things because this is so intimidating i don't want it i don't want any of this information so uh, let me uh, let's come back to the point so now we need to remove the intensity of this linear gradient okay so this is like totally black and we, we can come and uh, add some transparent background let's say transparency in the into the linear gradient let me add a color let's say little bit red and uh, let me see yeah little looking good but it's is, is still ugly so let me remove this transparency little bit darker and i think now it is looking good so that's it that's all about it guys that's how easily you can achieve all of these things and this was beautiful and hopefully you enjoyed the entire video if you are following me from the beginning yeah i i know that uh, i do not focus uh, i do not you know I'm not uh, just totally focused but I'm trying to you know make uh, 
good videos for you so yeah in future definitely i'll going to come up with a you know great content and you can easily understand that okay now the quality of my content will going to be improved after it so definitely into the next se- section season or section whatever you call into the next series you are going to see that okay i'm using much more uh, you know strategized way of building website you can use the saas you can easily organize your code you can easily use your variables in your like uh, color code in your uh, like all of the, those things okay so let me copy and uh, add these an order list right here so i'm adding it so yeah that's what exactly i'm telling that uh, we are going to use saas from the next video and that will going to be uh, that will going to help us in order to reduce the size of the code basically you can easily see that in, i mean we are having you know lots of code inside our style.css file and it is even much more complex let's say if you are writing entire css in just one single file then you can easily understand that how it is not even organized how even i also don't understand that what kind of classes that we we already you know using here and uh, yeah basically we need to organ- we need to come up with a very organized way so this was only for the you know beginners beginners and uh, this were only for you you know for the beginner level but yeah we achieved very very good design <laughs> like you can easily see that these are these designs are like looking very good and looking perfect and i mean there is no problem in it there is a, like a, i cannot say that this website is looking bad and our code is messy no everything is fine the thing is like our code is not uh, following uh, you know that much kind of a you know dry principle that's a dr wise principle do not repeat yourself and uh, yeah i'm trying to achieve all of those things i i'm trying to achieve dry principle in every single point and i always make sure that i can use you know i can reuse my code again and again but yeah sometimes you, if you're using things in this way if things are not organized then definitely you're going to feel like okay why i'm why the hell i'm doing uh, why why i'm writing you know codes continuously so yeah hopefully we can cover all of those things from the next video and if you stick from the beginning and if you are watching from the middle thanks for watching bye bye see in the next tutorial and we are going to come up with a good content from the next video see you in the next tutorial guys bye take care